Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 20th to August 26th 2018 so that being said let's go directly to the Tarot spread first now the first um, position here represents the uh, situation or you know the topic of your week Virgos then uh, we do have the second card representing the the core of the situation here then the third card is about the challenges that you need to overcome and the fourth card represents the guidance that you should follow for the duration of the week so uh, let's see what we got here now the first card uh, that is going to be rather the tower card so tower card guys the major arcana which uh, signifies the unpredictable it is happening or not unpredictable but the thing that you least expecting is going to happen either into your career or either into your relationship now the tower card it is uh, always manifest itself through unpleasant circumstances, unpleasant symptoms, you know, um, one could be fired from their work or one could experience a, a failure into a certain project, etc, etc. Now, this card is about managing crisis, you know, to, to place yourself, uh, not to place yourself, but you will be placed into a certain crisis for your life in general. It is not about your uh, relationship, it is not about your career here even it is about you you will be placed into that crisis so you can manage that particular crisis and um, uh, escape from it or rather um, walk walk away from it um, much more stronger and with much more space to build now the tower card appears or kind of like has effect on us so we can rebuild a certain structure and area in our life either relationship wise or a career wise now uh, whatever or uh, wherever uh, the tower card takes place for example we are demoted we are getting fired etc etc or for example suddenly our partner breaks up uh, breaks uh, break up with uh, breaks up with us into our relationship then this is the field which we need to grow all right and we need to grow it in a, with a different means than the means that we do have right now this is why the tower card is uh, card is happening because that particular field has been has become so so uh, solid it's this uh, I'm saying solid for the lack of better word here but uh, solid in a sense of that there is no more room to grow you know imagine like you have built a castle for yourself and you have made the the, the walls so strong that there is no more um, opportunity for yourself to expand and the tower happens so those walls getting destroyed you know so you can rebuild them but uh, on a, a bigger scale here all right so instead of looking at uh, that particular activity that you are going to experience which will be marked with unpleasant circumstances uh, here as a uh, um, a sign of a failure you can look at it as a sign of growth you know and as a sign of faith that you need to kind of redirect your efforts into a different uh, in a different uh, kind of direction uh, the tower card could also represent itself or manifest itself like a having a crush over somebody that you despite it until this very moment like uh, un unplanned pregnancy and so on and so on I mean the the ways that this card can manifest itself are countless you know but it will be unpredictable and it will make you think in a very very different way you know it's kind of like it will ruin your plans from the top to bottom regarding that field the card manifests itself and the core of the situation in this is uh, now we do have the emperor card here uh, so you can learn you know to kind of be more systematic consistent you know and uh, in general the, the, the emperor card is about uh, building up an empire you know building up your estate and uh, becoming much more influential should I say that way so uh, as I said because uh, 
in such presented position thus far there is no more room to grow the emperor cannot be achieved you know the state of emperor cannot be achieved that's why the tower card needs to take place here the crisis needs to take place so you have that opportunity you know to expand that particular field of your life and so you can become the emperor here a person of power you know a person of responsibility a person uh, to be praised as well if you want to say it that way but the emperor is also about being um, being consistent, uh, being as well very um, not aware, but I'm trying to find the word here. Well, <laughs> damn it, it's kind of like you know, planning, um, planning, and keeping in um, in track everything that is going on in your life, kind of like uh, being observant for every single thing that is going on, uh, going on around you. So, you know, maintaining control upon your situation and upon your environment, and that cannot happen unless you know you rebuild. Um, you rebuild a certain field of your life that that could be your relationship life or it could be your career life as well it could be your uh, friendship life etc etc as i said the ways of manifesting the tower card are countless and then the challenges that you have to overcome here this is going to be the six of wands and that is kind of obvious here uh, there won't be any room here for a uh, victory or kind of like um you know grant achievements because this week this week is not going to be about achieving something is going to be about rebuilding something all right this is nothing about this doesn't have to do anything with pursuing a, a certain goal therefore the six of wands here points that um, a victory achievements and as well recognition and these kind of stuff you know rewards should be the least of your concern uh, if you go for a certain rewards for a certain achievement achievements etc etc then the week is not going to be very productive as you're going to miss the chance here to rebuild that um, that field of your life because you can do it that way guys I mean if you kind of like fall into the trap of uh, six of wands as soon as this crisis here start appearing instead of you tackling with the crisis you can leave it um, aside what I mean is that you can you can leave it and whatever happens happens there you know and instead of that you can focus into something else so you can try to um, uh, kind of like compensate with uh, compensate with one achievement for one ruin all right and instead of realizing that if you be able to uh, kind of manage here uh, the unpredictable flow of events and you actually put it into um, uh, in under your control as the emperor suggests then you will have afterwards after this week much more room to uh, place you know undertakings for um, achieving um, for achieving uh, achieving success here and um, achieving triumphs as well and collecting rewards so the six of wands here uh, speaks in general you know that it will be difficult for you to experience a peaks into your situations a peaks of pleasure into your situa situations for the duration of the week and then as a, a guidance that you should follow here this is the four of pentacles which points that you have to stick to the already existing patterns to the already existing convictions uh, you have to try to um, stabilize uh, you know the field of crisis rather than to leave it to um, to develop you know to uh, rather than to to leave that field of crisis you know to uh, to escalate all right and you have to take also a certain defensive position so you can sustain what you already have instead of you know as i said trying to compensate by adding something for the losing of something else here all right so if you're thinking is my relationship being uh be will be able to be saved 
yeah definitely is going to be able to be saved here uh, if you don't try however to start dating with other people just because you are not getting along with your partner here or your career is your career will be able to be uh, to be saved yeah it, it can be saved but you have to start working toward it you know instead of uh, for example um, starting a um, a new jobs you know or start searching for new jobs and not not giving a, a damn about what is going on in your current one so this was uh, about the tarot reading now here is the Lenormand one we do have the ring followed by the clover followed by the ship so what we do have for Lenormand is an event that you need to uh, you need to keep uh, uh, you know you need to look forward to that will be a, a commitment here or um, a partnership which is going to offer you small gains, all right, from the clover, but it's going to offer you a um, adventure as well. So look uh, forward for that particular commitment, uh, which is going to be a nice addition here to the uh, crisis management. That commitment could be a, a little help that comes from uh, from comes from the exterior, which is going to help you to manage your crisis. But it's going to be uh, again adventurous commitment, as the the person is going to be very interesting, and it will have rather. Um, you know, it will have rather unstandard approach toward the situations. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading uh, and Lenormand one for August 20th to August 26, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.